What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over LeetCode 953 Verify Alien Dictionary. Now the input is going to be a list of words and a string and the output needs to be true or false. So what they're asking is given the string which gives us the alien languages letter orderings if the words are in lexicographical order. Now that's just a fancy way of saying alphabetical order. Now let's take our language for a second. So A, B, C, then A, B, D, and then A, B, E, right? We can say these are in alphabetical order because C comes before D and then uh, D comes before E. So we can say these are all alphabetical or lexicographic because two of them taken at a time are in alphabetical order. Now, because two are taken at a time, and we apply this whole list, so another one, A, B, F, right? We can say this whole thing is true if each one of these taken as a, a pair, if each one of these uh, words are taken as a pair, and they're all in alphabetical order, the whole thing is in alphabetical order. Now, that's called transitive property, and we apply the same principle to this question. So if these two are in order, and then these two are in order, then the whole uh, list is in order. In this case, it's false, meaning these are not in order, because the uh, letters in the alien language, they have a different priority or ordering than ours. Let's compare our language to their language. <clears throat> so A, B, C. Okay, so in our language, we have, um, this one is priority one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 26 letters have their own ordering. In their uh, language, the first word is actually W and then O and then R. So W O R L D, then A B C E F G H I J uh, K, yeah, K M N. P Q R S T U uh, not not R, there's no R here, so P Q S T yeah. S T U V X Y Z. So you can see the difference in their ordering and our ordering. So this output is false because word and world are not in alphabetical or lexicographical order given this ordering. Why is that? Let's take a look. So word and world, we can see that these two are the same, these are the same, these are the same, but these two are different. In their language, D has a priority of five and L has a priority of four. That's why these are out of order in the alien's language. So we're gonna return false. If they had um, world and then word right then this would be true because these two are the same 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 and then L is a uh, order for priority four and then D is a priority of five so if world came before word then this would return uh, true and then uh, then we can just say that these two are in order then we just compare world and row uh, word higher priority then world has a higher priority than row because w comes before r in their language then in that case this whole output this whole input would be giving an output of true cool so now that we understand the intuition how are we going to keep track of this anytime we have a mapping from uh, one element to another element 
we're going to use a hash map, but in this case, we can just use an array. So um, let's see what that looks like. So let's see. Uh, we just have an integer array, int ar of new int 26, 26 for 26 letters. Um, and each of these uh, slots in the array is going to hold the number, the priority of that alien's language. So let's take our array from 0, 1, all the way to 25, and then we have 24, 23, and we have 22. So this represents A, B, all the way to W, X, Y, Z. Now, we're going to iterate through this string to build our uh, array. So of the first letter in there is a W. So W minus the ASCII value of A gives us, um, should be 22, right? So 22 is going to have the index of W in that string. So this is going to have a 0 here. Um, then, for example, x, y, z are going to have 23. This is a 23rd position, uh, or rather, the index, since it's offset by 0, it's going to have a 23, it's going to have 24, and 25. So when we come to a minus a, it's going to have off uh, ASCII value difference of 0. So 0, which corresponds to the index for the letter a, is going to have a value of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to have a 5 in here. And then B is going to have 6, so so on and so forth. That's what our um, dictionary array is going to look like, our mapping array. And then we'll use the values in here, like we did to calculate, to look at the difference between word and world. Uh, and using that comparison, we can return true or false. OK, now let me write a helper method that tells us true or false if given two words, uh, whether they're in alphabetical order or not. So let's say we have um, public Boolean order string A string B. Um, OK, now let's have a Boolean called same. This is going to be true. So what I'm doing is I'm assuming that given two words, a pair at a time, they're going to be the same until we find the first letter, which is different among both of them. So for int i is equal to 0, i is less than a dot length, and i is less than b dot length i plus plus I'm going to say char al is equal to a dot char at i and then char bl for b dot char at i if they're both the same continue like wor is the same in the first uh, three letters for the first two words. So we're just going to continue. And if they're not the same, then I'm going to set this, the same flag to false. Now what I'm going to do is, if we're not the same for the first time, then I'm going to return Uh, the uh, comparison, so uh, uh, D and L, right? If A R of A L minus A, if this is outside, uh, if this is greater than, sorry, if it's greater than A R of B L minus A, if that's the case, then return false. Else return 
true. So between word and world, D and L are out of order, so we're going to return false. And if we had world before word, we could just return true. Now, let's look at one edge case where if we had something like APP and APPLE, even though these are both the same up to the first three letters, the shorter word has to come first. Only then it's considered lexicographical. So we can just write a simple case for that is if a dot length is greater than b dot length then we return false else we return true so that's the helper method called order and we'll use that uh, in our main method that's passed in with the inputs so that's essentially how we compare two words. Okay. Now let's say the original function would be something like uh, uh, verify alien and public boolean. Yeah, public boolean. We're given a string of words and a string order. So first, I'm going to build the uh, integer array. And we can just uh, initialize that. So I just wrote that before, but I'll, 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 I'll just take that as a global variable. So for int i is equal to 0 i is less than order dot length i plus plus um, char c is word oh sorry or order dot char at i a r of c minus the ASCII value of a is going to be given a priority of i. And that's how we initialize our uh, dictionary or array of the mappings. And then we're going to go through each word pair at a time. So for int i is equal to 1, i is less than words dot length and i plus plus. If the words are not in order, if words of i minus 1 and words of i are not in order, then return false. Else, return true. So let's just uh, step through this logic once. This is where I'm building the array and then this is where I'm taking two words at a time these two and then these two and so on and so forth and if any pair is out of order right it's out of order then I'm gonna return false we have to make it all the way through the entire list to return true so that's how you solve Leetcode 953 if you like the video please thumbs up and comment below and please subscribe and let me know what you think thanks for watching